Uh, we have a team of correspondents looking into these breaking developments. Let's begin with CNN's Polo Sandoval. Polo, what more do we know? Right, it certainly is disturbing when you see that live web feed interrupted by the sound of gunshots. Uh, the latest information put out by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the authority in this right now, is, as you mentioned, multiple fatalities, among them a suspect. Uh, investigators saying that they are still waiting to try to confirm if there are any other potential suspects out there, but at least for now they can confirm, again, multiple fatalities at this tournament in Jacksonville, Florida, in the downtown area, a place that had been bustling with activity. And now, the challenge for authorities is to try to find people who had sheltered in place. Just a few moments ago, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office turning to their Twitter page to tell people, uh, trying to get to relay a message to individuals who are seeking shelter to use their cell phones to call 911 so a SWAT team or police officers can actually get to them. Uh, they point out that they are finding many people, again, many people still hiding in locked areas at the landing. Uh, the landing, a very popular spot there in the downtown area along the banks of the St. John's River that houses a lot of stores, dining and nightlife location, and this game bar where this uh, Madden video game tournament had been happening. So this message right now has been put out there. And interesting, as you see, read the bottom of that tweet, Fred, uh, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office using that hashtag, the landing mass shooting, to relay all official information that, again, at this point, the latest headline is multiple fatalities at this uh, Florida gaming tournament mass shooting, uh, among them a suspect, Fred.